Hi everyone and welcome to this belated May plan with me. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded anything to YouTube, but I wanted to do that again, so here we are. So first off, I started with doing my cover page for this month and I really wanted to draw again with some alcoholic markers as you can see but you know I'm stupid so I took the wrong side of the page so this is actually not the page that you're supposed to draw on with alcoholic markers so everything turned out a little blurry and not how it's supposed to look but I think I managed to make it look at least a little decent I'm okay with how it turned out it's not perfect it could be better but nonetheless it's okay <laughs> and it's my cover page for this month and as you can see these are spring flowers and that's kind of my theme going on for May I didn't want to go in with anything fancy or something really specific I don't know I was just into these all these flowers currently blooming around us so I thought that would be a cute theme after I finished my drawing, as you can see, I just sticked it onto my page with some double-sided tape, I guess, and just lettered May above it. And I'm really curious, if you have a bullet journal, what is your theme for May? Because I think I'm not that creative for May, because flowers are just not that creative. I think we have all done spirits with flowers. But I really am curious what is your theme. I saw a lot with like butterflies and stuff. And so yeah, tell me if you have one. For the lettering I chose for this month, as you can see, like I lettered May two times, but not on top of each other, but more like next to each other. I don't I have no idea how to explain it, but I guess you can see how I did it. And I saw that a lot on Instagram, etc. And I just want to do it because I think it's easy and it looks so cute. I don't know about you, but I think it looks so cute and it's so effortless and you can do it with any pen that you have so you don't have to really be good at lettering and yeah here's how my cover page turned out and I think it's kind of cute it's a little bit minimalistic at least for me if you have seen other spreads of me you know this is minimalistic for me and yeah for my monthly overview I actually didn't know really what to do because of the given situation but I wanted to have some space where I could have like a little overview for like I don't know exams or tasks that I have over the month and so I just did a little monthly overview with three and three squares, if you get what I mean. So it's just really, really small. And yeah, for everyone wondering, I am dumb. I know that the 1st of May is not Wednesday, but it's actually Friday. But you know, I was, as I'm planning it, um, I was just looking it up on Google and Google Calendar was like... <laughs> Why not show her May of 2019, right? And so I was planning and I was super happy. And after I filmed all this, after I was finished with planning everything out, I noticed, wait a second, May the 1st is not on Wednesday. So yeah, that's me coloring everything, being happy. I did everything in really bright colors. And so yes, the color for the month is actually not a specific color it's more like every color <laughs> if you get what i mean i was more into rainbow colors and maybe the most primarily color if you can say that is green but you can see a lot of different colors going on throughout all my spreads On my monthly overview I just added a little space for gold and a habit tracker. I always do that but for me this month this is really important you could say because I really want to focus more on that because I have the time now and I really really want to use my habit tracker this month because I never really use them. I love them and think they are pretty and then I use them for like one week and then I totally forget about them but this month I want to do it different so if you're maybe interested in how how that's going or if you're interested in other bullet journal spreads study stuff etc you could 
check out my Instagram and just see there how it's going. And I also added a study plan that I haven't figured out yet because I still have to take some exams for my other semester that I couldn't take because of the whole virus thing going on. And I also have some space for brain dump that I don't think I have to explain. It's really he helpful sometimes. So here are the finished pages. I really like how they turned out besides my calendar mistake. <laughs> So and now for the weekly spread. I have to say that I tried some different styles of weekly spreads because if you have maybe seen other videos or plan with me um, of me in the past, you may notice that they have all the same style and I always include pictures and stuff like that. But I discovered this layout for me because um, I really like having all my dates next to each other and all the planning stuff and maybe like decorative things like a little doodle or some quotes stuff like that I have on the bottom part of the page so you're going to see what I mean <laughs> because first I started with writing out Monday to Wednesday then I added a little calendar for some overview and yes I still know it's the wrong calendar for this year but let's be real nobody likes 2020 so i think we all wish it was 2019. <laughs> i also included a space for goals because i have to say i really like having long-term goals and small-term goals so for every week i try to set some realistic goals like drink more water or stuff like that and i really think that it helps I also included here a quote. I'm really sorry that you can't see precisely how I'm lettering because of my hand. I'm sorry that I'm left-handed. And I also included a little doodle with some, again, colorful flowers. And this page is also going to turn out really colorful. So I hope you like it. And I really didn't do anything complicated here. I just drew some random flowers and also just some flowers I looked up at Pinterest or stuff like that. So just some flower doodles that I did in a random kind of way. So just like they grow outside and just color them in with some really inexpensive markers. Now we are coming to the other side of the spread and now I think you can see what I meant by I have every day next to the other which I never had in the past and I really like this style. I think I'm going to stick with it for now because it really is kind of helpful because I have a better overview and I'm just going to use them as little to-do lists. Underneath that I added a small space for notes, a study tracker because university is just a lot right now even though it's online. And a space for to-dos because I'm going to use every day of this spread, kind of like a to-do list, but these are going to be more general to-dos that I don't know when I'm going to do them. And again, I added a cute quote, in my opinion cute. <laughs> it's keep going, keep growing. And I thought that this was perfect for spring and for my theme. And again, I doodled and I was happy. And so here it is. I think it turned out quite pretty and I really like it. So here's my finished weekly spread and that means we are now at the end of this video. I'm happy that you were here and I really hoped that you liked this video. You can as always tell me in the comments, give a like or whatever you want. And yeah, I hope to see you next time. Bye!